नमस्कार दिस इज मेहुल फ्रॉम फिल्टर कंसेप्ट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर लवली सपोर्ट एंड ओवरवेलमिंग रिस्पॉन्स ऑन अवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड्स दैट रियली एनकरेज अस टू शेयर द बेस्ट नॉलेज व्हाट वी कुड अर्न इन दिस मेनी इयर्स विथ यू एंड विल डेफिनेटली ट्राई अवर बेस्ट टू डिलीवर विथ विथ ऑल ऑफ यू विथ ऑल ऑफ यू we have certain questions from uh, you know uh, uh, various uh, individuals uh, uh, technocrats and uh, we are answering them in private however there was one interesting question which i thought of uh, sharing with this platform uh, one of my friend wanted to understand how uh, filtration body or filtration equipment look like so of course it's a very broad definition and we have a detailed study on this particular topic after completion of our 10th episode and we will understand how how process design of filtration equipment took place how mechanical design of filtration equipment took place and that will cover in detail but in order to give you a rough idea i'll demonstrate a small sketch of a uh, filtration equipment or filter body at the end of today's episode wherein you'll have uh, a rough idea on that question <coughs> moving further to our uh, our subject uh, we were discussing about suspended solid load and uh, i i agreed that you know we would be covering uh, a full episode on suspended solid load because for me as a designer i i really feel that this particular topic has a greater relevance to the designing of any filter equipment so uh, just to quickly run through our previous episode suspended solid load nature of contaminants and bulk density these are the three parameters act parallelly nature of contaminants uh, would help you to identify what could be the best media for you because you could have uh, free flowing uh, uh, solid contaminants or dust you could have uh, slimy nature or you can have sticky nature so based on that you can identify a media when we talk about bulk density uh, and you have a mixture of solid contaminants probably as a designer you'll have to design a system with the lowest bulk density available amongst the group so that will uh, you know make your design perfect suspended solid load why i am giving more stress on this subject is whenever we talk about even we are dealing with uh, consultants or technocrats or industry uh, at at you know at any level or any type of industry when we talk about suspended solid load probably these data are not available i am not saying in all cases but majority cases these data are not available and they they expect designer to design a filtration equipment with certain assumption now i want to give you a small demonstration and want to explain you that how it would be difficult for a designer to to assume certain key parameter like suspended solid load and what could happen to the system when you took into operation so uh, our our topic is liquid filtration and we are we are talking about liquid in in these few episodes and uh, so liquid we know water oil uh, petrol kerosene atf good number of liquid we 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 deal with and we we required filters for it uh i am having two glass of water having certain suspended solid load available and i don't have data available for designing i just want to demonstrate there would be a great question mark as a designer when we don't have this data so this is a glass of water you can see that uh, 
certain dust has settled down at the bottom. We do not know what level of suspended load is available. Now, if I design system based on this suspension load available and at the same time if the actual data could be like this, you can imagine. So, this is how for me when we talk about filtration equipment design, suspended load play a very major role your filtration media, your filter area, differential pressure, everything would depend on this particular parameter to a great extent. Now just imagine if I am having these data available and my actual requirement of a customer is this. My system is, is probably not going to work filter might get clogged in few seconds or few minutes and that happen. Majority of people fail to analyze this data and that is how as a designer they suffer and, and the, the, the entire channel. Uh, the contractor, subcontractor, consultant and customer, everyone would suffer. And I am just giving you an example of a glass of water. We are talking about very, very small amount of water. Imagine a case where you have to filter say 2000 meter cube per hour flow rate. That means you are filtering 2000 multiplied by 1000 like 2 million liter water in one hour's time and if you have unexpected suspended solid load something like this and you have designed system with an assumption of this your filter is not going to work. So that is how suspended solid load always play a major role and that is the reason whenever we deal with our customer we always recommend them we always educate them uh, to have particle analysis report now what is particle analysis report particle analysis report is something which gives you an idea that what kind of suspended solid loads are available in that particular liquid and what could be the contribution with respect to that micron rating that give you clear chart. Say for example, in this glass of water the finest particle could be of 7 micron. So particle analysis report would confirm that what could be the contribution of 1 micron particle, 5 micron, 10 micron, 25 and 100. That is exactly designer has to design the system. On this note giving a very very rough uh, example a small example uh, to, to elaborate my concern on this particular topic or parameter. Our body come across lot many challenges and when we, when we refer to a doctor, they, they always prescribe some of the taste to perform and based on this taste, they will analyze and they will confirm that this could be the challenge with our body and this is the solution. So exactly when we talk about industry, we have to perform certain tests. And based on those tests, probably one can identify the right solution for you. Particle analysis report can be uh, done with certain third party laboratories available uh, across the globe and they will give you clear idea about 
what level of suspension solid uh, suspension uh, solid load available in the fluid and uh, uh, in some of the case probably uh, some industry have have uh, you know introduced in house facility to analyze this so that there are equipments available which can give you clear idea in fact you have online counter so once your flow is passing through a pipe that can give you an idea what kind of suspension you are going to deal with so this is how one should collect the information and design a right equipment or right filtration equipment for the industry so that is uh, what i wanted to uh, share my input on suspended solid load of course there are few few more parameters which we have to cover and uh, will will uh, will will conclude them in our next episode as we started and we communicated uh, i have to give you a rough idea on how filtration body or filtration equipment look like so i am just uh, trying to draw a small sketch and that will give you an idea okay so uh, this is a typical design of a filtration body or filtration equipment this is a very general outline i am saying uh, we'll discuss in detail however to to explain you can see this the cylindrical part is called shell this is descent we have shell flanges then we'll have gasket between those shell flanges uh, stud nuts nozzle and nozzle flanges and uh, supports or legs so this is a typical arrangement so i hope the information shared with you all in this episode would be useful to you and uh, if you have any further question query on this subject on this wonderful subject please feel free to write to me it would be my pleasure to address them and we we'll look forward to our next episode and we'll join you very soon thank you so much for now